Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we're doing a quick weekend update <laughs> in your love sector. So we'll take a quick look with an oracle card, a tarot card, and a device card. Um, what is going on in your love sector this weekend? So this is good February 25th through the 27th. Um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, please consider uh, liking, commenting, or subscribing. I have, um, I'm going to start with the water sign. So we'll start with Pisces. Happy birthday to Pisces. And then each of the other zodiac signs are time stamped in the description box below. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Pisces. So Pisces, you have butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. You know, this can be a transformation in a love relationship that you have or even in your own your own belief systems about love in general. You know, um, yeah, Queen of Wands. <laughs> I love this energy. Um, okay, if you are already in a committed relationship, you are going to see this more confident nature about yourself coming out. You're going to feel more confident about your relationship, about your partner, about where your relationship is going in the future. Um, if you're single, uh, this is really kind of, I'm trying to think, um, Pisces, you may, your weekly reading may have been something about getting out there and strutting your stuff. Um, there's just this energy of just, you know, you are embracing new in your love sector. You're feeling more confident about yourself. You're putting yourself out there. For some of you, you may have actually done like a huge transformation on like maybe your appearance or how you want to, um, you know, open yourself up to love because the, the butterfly, you know, it goes into from the caterpillar into um, the chrysalis and then into the butterfly stage. So I feel like you've done a huge transformation in your love sector and it's kind of a really, like you are really just like stepping into this lovely energy of, it's that energy of strutting your stuff. You know, the queen of wands is so confident, just so assured of herself knows that she's fine, completely on her own, but, um, you know, is open to love if the right person comes along. And I feel like that's how you are. You're in this, this energy of allowing love to come to you and not feeling like, you know, in the past you may have like almost forced love or forced the notion of wanting love. Um, the transformation card here, the butterfly is the number 11. I feel like you are bringing in a true soulmate, a twin flame, if you will. You've got time. I love this. Ever wonder what would make life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever, wildly in love and loved wildly? You have so much to look forward to, the universe. Yeah, I feel like, you know, there is this sense of allowing with the Queen of Wands. Like I said, it's very much, she's a little bit like a junior empress. The empress knows she has everything she needs and she is not seeking out love. She is, um, it doesn't mean that you won't put yourself out there and be open to love, but it's also about, I'm not chasing love. I know that I'm a good catch and I'm going to allow love to come towards me. Well, Pisces, happy birthday and um, I hope to see you again really soon. Okay, so we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what we have for you this weekend in your love sector. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. You know, the first message I got when um, this card came out was that sometimes sometimes what we we need to um, to allow more love into our life is to get into that energy of looking and seeing love all around us even perhaps in situations where you feel like you're not feeling loved <laughs> whether that's in relationships or work or just life in general you know you may be feeling a little bit like down in the dumps about love okay 
and about perhaps um, even though this is a romantic love reading, it could be in other areas of your life, other relationships. It's about tuning back into looking for the love in those relationships. Uh, really interesting. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Focusing on, because I think this is a reminder to you, Scorpio, that you have so many people, so many um, relationships in your life that love you. Um, and it's about embracing that, stepping into it, recognizing um, that these people, these situations really do love you and that they are also your nine of cups. You know, sometimes it's really easy when we feel hurt in our relationships to dismiss people or situations and to walk away, right? But when we walk away, the problem is, is that we're not really cutting the, the uh, energy cords between ourselves and that person. So that portal is still kind of open, but it's not perhaps filled with love. It's filled with regret or, or sadness, right? And so it's in order to um, maybe perhaps reopen these portals in a much more positive way is to send love you know, to those people, whether you actually reach out to them or you just think about them in a loving way that can help to bring more love into the situation. And you'd be surprised. Um, it'll try your love for that person will travel through those energy cords and reach them, even if it's somebody that you're not talking to right now. And when you do that, then they start having more loving thoughts of you. And then the love can kind of ebb and, you know, there's a little bit of ebb and flow between the two of you, but you can get to the point where maybe if you're not talking to someone, you can start you know, opening up those lines of communication again. Um, it's a really interesting energy of when you step into seeing your relationships with more love, you receive more love. <laughs> it's um, And it's, you know, a lot of times when um, it's about expectations, um, that's what they're saying, something about expectations. You may, um, you may have been disappointed by one or more relationships in your life. Um, and sometimes that disappointment comes, we all experience this. Disappointment comes when we have expectations that aren't met. It may mean about just allowing these situations to grow on their own and without any expectations, kind of surrendering a little bit. Yeah, things are not as they appear. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze in <laughs> the universe. Yeah, I feel as if, you know, this is a little bit of an energy of you may be thinking that this situation is over or, you know, um, this relationship is not worth any effort. But because the Nine of Cups is there, I feel like it's a relationship that you really do want in your life. Um, and so it's about just sending out, if nothing else, sending out loving thoughts to this person. And then also surrendering to the universe, realizing <laughs> that your angels, your uh, spirit guides are helping you to realign to this person if it is meant to be. Really interesting um, energy there, Scorpio. Well, I wish you much love and light in that situation. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend. Okay, so let's move on to Cancer. Let's see what we have for you, Cancer, this weekend. What message do we have for you in your love sector? Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being. Cancer, did you have this, uh, that... Um, same one on your weekly reading. Um, you know, I think it's really interesting because we have the um, new moon in Pisces coming up, uh, which is all about dreaming big, you know, being the big dreamer. And then here we have this energy of dream the world that you want into being. So, you know, especially if you are not in a committed relationship, but you're wanting it. It's about dreaming that person into being. If you are in conflict with somebody right now and you're wanting to reconnect with this person, it's about really putting it out there. You know, to the universe, to yourself, taking action. There's always something about taking action. Empress. 
So, you know, this is an energy of the Empress has um, all the tools. She knows that she can allow a love to come to her. So I feel as if in you may have some connection that you are wanting to reunite with. Um, you know, there's this energy with the Empress. Um, it could be you know, this is a true soul counterpart, so it could be a little bit of either, you know, a mother, a motherly figure, uh, the mother of your children, or you could be a mother, and this could be somebody, you know, that's connected, you're, you're in a committed relationship with, or wanting to be, you may be wanting to be a mother. There's a very much of an energy here of wanting to nurture a certain relationship, that may not be either in your life that you're trying to bring into your life or that has conflict in it right now and you may be separated from this person. It's this energy of nurturing it, but not overly nurturing. <laughs> and I know that's so funny to say because the Empress is this energy of allowing, you know, allowing love to come to you. But in order to allow it, you also have to open your heart to it. You have to be willing to allow love to come in. Yeah. And I feel like you really want this with the lizard spirit there. It's something that you um, are truly wanting. I get the sense that for a lot of you, this is something about reconnection. Um, but if it's not reconnection, and I'm just going to say, they just keep showing me these two branches, like, you know, and the lizard is almost like... <laughs> is almost like your your spirit guides, your angels are trying to pull the two of you back together. You see how they're kind of like separated, going in opposite directions? There's this energy of trying to pull the two, you know, um, branches closer together. There's this energy, I feel like you have an energy right now to be able to do that. You know, to... Um, to, to start a new cycle with this person, with the Empress energy. So what do we have here? You've got time. Okay, so um, ever wonder what would make life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever? Wildly in love and loved wildly. You have so much to look forward to. Yeah. I feel like this is a true message. You know, um, interesting. I think Pisces had this one. Um, you have, uh, you have time and that's a part of this empress. You know, sometimes when we put time and energy into a situation that's in conflict and it's not working, right? <laughs> and we get frustrated with it. There is a sense of, okay, I'm just going to allow that person to be who they need to be right now. I'm going to Go ahead and do my thing right now. And then, you know, allowing the universe to work to bring the two of you back together. And realizing that you don't have to quit on this connection at this time. You don't have to quit on it. You could just allow it to be quiet for right now, you know, and allow the universe to, you know, uh, work its magic <laughs> in this connection. But Cancer, you have free will. You can do what you want. Um, I would say that there is a sense of allowing, of just allowing this. And once again, if this person reaches out or something, it's about being open. The Empress is very open. Open to new people, to new ideas, to new love. <laughs> and even if that new love, that cup of love is coming from someone in the past, it's about allowing it to come in. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you much love and light, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now, Cancer. Okay, so we're going to move on to the air signs. Gemini, let's see what we have for you in your love sector. This is for the weekend of February 25th through the 27th. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. Gemini, you are just, this is fresh. This is new. This is, this is being more open to 
any possibility in love instead of, and you know, you can embrace this, I know, because <laughs> you, you are so dual, right? But it's this energy of, yeah, I'm, I'm not going with, I'm not necessarily going to stick to my normal type, right? It's like branching out there and just almost like this sense of why not? <laughs> That's exactly how it is. It's like, why not? If somebody asks you out, you're like, yeah, why not? You know, um, just being super open, really nice energy. Ace of Swords, you know, I really do. I feel like you are embracing your truth of understanding that you are worthy of love, that you are wanting victory in love, and that I feel like you've changed your, your, um, your outlook about love. Like you're willing to put yourself out there, but you're also willing to look at new possibilities in love. Maybe even, um, you know, like say you've been doing online dating or something and then you're kind of like, well, okay, what are some other possible ways I could meet people, right? And you sign up for, I don't know, ballroom dancing or <laughs> something like that. Or, you know, you, um, you, you know, maybe you even reach out to your friends and say, hey, listen, I'm open. Anybody have, you know, any ideas of new people I could go out with? But it's really this sense of new, like wanting a clean slate a little bit in love. And it's kind of like you're realizing, you're, you're gaining this truth about yourself that, Hey, you know, I always dated people that maybe you only in the past dated professional people that have professional jobs, office jobs. And now you're kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. Why am I holding myself into this small bubble? There are so many fish out there, so many fish in the sea. And I want to go see some of those other fish, you know, and you may start, you know, uh, opening yourself up to dating artists or musicians or you know something different really nice energy really fresh so what do we have here yeah create space for new love oh gemini i would say this is the most positive one so far when a thing hurts your eyes stop looking at it <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Uh, when it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, just stop justifying it. I love you so much. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're not looking at a past love anymore. You're definitely moving on. It's kind of like, yeah, you're done. And now you're opening yourself up to new love. But uh, once again, this sense of, okay, maybe in the past with the eyes, okay, maybe in the past you only dated dark haired people, right? And now you're kind of like, well, why am I limiting myself to only people with dark hair? You know, what does hair really have to do with it? You know, the color of their hair. Um, and then it's, you know, if it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. Well, maybe they don't like the same type of music you do, right? So you like dismiss people. if, Or maybe you like to go to concerts and, you know, you only have dated people that'll go to concert. It's kind of like just stepping outside of your box, out of sight of your normal um, dating box. Well, Gemini, I'm wishing you much love and light. And, you know, this weekend, try to get out there. Try to look at some other new possibilities. Okay, let's move on to Libra. Libra, let's see what we have for you this weekend in your love sector. We have porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. Oh my goodness, Libra, I love this. I mean, an energy of new love coming into your path. Really nice, really nice. You know, the beginner's mind is also this energy of having enthusiasm for the new <laughs> and not bringing along all the, the baggage of the past. You know, I, I was a teacher and one of the things is that working with new teachers, brand new teachers, they bring so much enthusiasm to the classroom, right? Um, what they lack maybe in experience, they more than make up for with their enthusiasm because they're ready to embrace all of it. <laughs> you know, um, all they see is just, you know, it's all going to be wonderful. Um, and I feel like that's the energy that you are having this weekend is just this energy of, okay, I'm just, 
I'm, I'm just going to be open to all of it. I'm going to be enthusiastic about all of it. I'm not going to bring any of that past baggage, those painful things that have happened in the past. I'm not bringing those with me in this. Yeah, Ace of Wands, new, fresh start. I oh, love it, love it. Yeah, it's this energy of, I just want a, a fresh, clean slate. That's what they're saying to me. I want a clean slate in love. You know, I... Uh, I think it's interesting because this porcupine has almost like, I want to say yeah, war paint on it and then on the face. I feel like some of you are going to um, get dressed up, you know, whatever that means for you. I feel like you're getting dressed up. You're like, yeah, you know, um, you may go get a new haircut or something like that. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm embracing the new. And, you know, sometimes embracing the new means that we do have to do something physically um, to ourselves or for ourselves in order to step into this new. It's kind of like, you know, okay, I'm cutting the cords of the old. Um, I always say, go buy a new pair of shoes. <laughs> new shoes always, you know, it's kind of like, you know, having a new sh pair of shoes or sometimes for a woman, it's a new, you know, purse or something like that. New haircut, new jewelry, you know, a new outfit, whatever it is. It's kind of like getting into this energy of, I want to go strut my st stuff, you know, and just having something new to make you, um, to allow you to feel more confident. Turn on your own, turn on your love light. Yeah, sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of like, yeah, I really like uh, uh, the sense of I'm tired of feeling down in the dumps about love. I am going to embrace love. I'm putting myself out there. I'm, you know, and it's just kind of like a fresh, clean slate. Oh, Libra, I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Okay, well, I'm, wish, I'm wishing you much love and light uh, this weekend in your love life and in all situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. Okay, Aquarius. We're moving on to Aquarius. Let's see what we have here. Aquarius. Skunk spirit, know your worth. You know, knowing your worth helps you to attract somebody that is worthy of you. Um, really nice. Really nice. And the emperor. Yeah, you know, the emperor spirit is this energy of standing in your power, knowing your worth, not accepting anything that is less. Whether you are in a connection or you're single and looking, it's kind of like a, an energy of, um, of waiting. You know, a being willing to wait for the right one. The emperor knows, you know, if this this doesn't work out, there's another deal coming in down the line, right? So in love, if this love doesn't work out because they're not worthy of me, then it's kind of like not a problem. I know that there will be somebody on my path soon. Really nice energy. You know, this sense of allowing you know, um, allowing and waiting for your true love. Doesn't mean that you don't, that you can't date, you can't have fun, you know, while you are waiting for the right one, but also realizing that you're not going to get too caught up in a relationship where you know it's not going anywhere, right? That's really not fair to you and it's not fair to the person that you're dealing with. Those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Yeah, that's really about stepping into your power of realizing just how worthy you are, that you don't have to, um, you know, with the skunk, the skunk has a smelly uh, scent to it. It's like you don't have to cover yourself up. You don't have to wear like a lot of perfume to cover up the skunk smell. You know, put yourself out there. Know that you're worthy. Step into your power. Show who you truly are. And then uh, waiting, you know, waiting for that special one to come onto your path. All right, Aquarius, I'm leaving it there. I wish you much love and light um, in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. Okay, Sag, we're moving on to the fire signs. So Sagittarius, let's see what you have on the horizon this weekend. Uh, Stag Spirit, take the lead. 
Well, Sag, you are very much of a leader. <laughs> so I'm not surprised to see that. It could be that, um, you know, you're going to have a situation this weekend where you may have to make the first move. Um, yeah, Ace of Cups. Okay, Sag, the message is clear. <laughs> you need to be the one to put out the first, um, the first, you know, whatever it is. The first, you know, walking up to somebody, introducing yourself, uh, sending a text, sending an email. If this is somebody that's already in your, you know, you're in your life, but, you know, maybe you haven't heard from them a little bit. It's about, yeah, just send them. There's something here. It is going to grow with the Ace of Cups. But you, you are in the position where you need to take action. Uh, really interesting because there's been a lot of allowing in the readings and this is a clear indication that you need to be the one that does some, takes some action. If you, you know, you may be sitting there going, well, I don't have anybody that I really would like to ask out or anything. You know, one of the things that I'm getting is it's a what step could you take in order to move closer to a love relationship? You know, maybe um, if you're not like on an online dating app, maybe you go ahead and upload your profile this weekend, right? Um, sometimes it also means that you just have to put yourself out there a little bit. You know, maybe you call your, you know, your friends up and say, hey, let's, you know, and I know it's hard with the, you know, the situations right now, but you know, hey, let's, let's go for a hike this weekend, you know, kind of get out where you could possibly meet somebody. And then really, I feel like you're being asked to, to really step into your power and your courage, your strength in order to put yourself out there in some way, however that uh, resonates with you. What would love do? Do you know why it's so easy for us and the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. P.S. The legend of Bigfoot continues. Yeah, there's this energy of, you know, like the the Bigfoot, you know, your footprints of love. It's it's about you um, kind of just needing to perhaps step out of your comfort zone a little put, bit. Put your footprints in new areas um, in order to find love or perhaps put yourself in positions where people could find you, okay? You may not necessarily have to actually step out and talk to somebody, but you may need to put yourself into an arena where other people could come to you and start chatting with you. Um, and I feel as if the message I'm getting here is that there is, you know, I think your, your spirit guides, your angels are trying to align you up with somebody, a new love. But the situation may be that you're holding back too much. They, they're asking you to take some action this weekend to put yourself at least out and about in some way, either, you know, online or actually getting out there because they're trying to bring somebody in for you, but they need your help a little bit. They need, um, they need for you to get, just step out of your comfort zone. That's all I'm going to say. Just step out of your comfort zone. Sad, you got this. <laughs> you have a lot of confidence. You can do this. Well, I'm wishing you much love and light in that situation and in all your situations. And I hope to see you again, Sad. Bye for now. Okay, we are going to move on to Leo. Leo, let's see what you have this weekend in your love sector. What do you have coming up? Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Okay, so to me, this is an energy of, you know, you may have ended one relationship, waiting for a new relationship to come in. Um, but it's kind of embracing that, you know, embracing, hey, I'm single, I'm getting myself out there, the flamingo, you know, um, and Leo, you're very much this way, you know, just looks good, right? Like putting on your, um, 
you know, fluffing your feathers. <laughs> They're saying fluffing your feathers. Leo, you always have such nice hair and everything. It's this energy of, yeah, you know, looking good, knowing you look good, putting yourself, your best version of yourself out there because there is love coming in with that embrace the in-between. Yeah, justice coming in here, something that's coming in that's much more balanced for you. Could be a Libra. This is Libra energy. Doesn't have to be. But this energy of your in-between and this in-between is about you finding your balance, stepping back into a more balanced energy does not not mean that you have to stop dating or anything like that it's about just finding your balance because you are about to step into a new um romantic relationship really nice okay so what do we have here hubba hubba yeah that's you leo <laughs> you know that dreamy look of deep soulful love you've sometimes seen it seeing the eyes of another as they gazed into your own. Expect a lot more of it. <laughs> Woohoo, the universe. Yeah, I, I really do have this sense that you have new love coming in. It's about staying balanced, staying positive, understanding that the, there is new love coming in. You know, you're doing all the right things. You may feel like, well, I don't know. Love isn't on the horizon. This is just kind of a message of, yes, it is, Leo. Just hold on, stay really balanced, keep going out, doing whatever you're doing, you know, um, and that new love is on the horizon for you. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you much love and light, Leo. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, and now Aries. Aries, let's see what we have for you this weekend. We have a flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. Leo just had the same card. It, you know, it's very fitting for you too, Aries. It's this energy of knowing, you know, you're, you may not be in a relationship right now. You know, you're, you're, you've ended one relationship. Uh, you're waiting for a new one, but it's this energy of, okay, I'm sitting here. <laughs> What's going on? Eight of cups. Yeah. I feel like, um, this is a little bit of a different energy than Leo's. There's some, something coming on your path. Um, you're, you're still in this energy of walking away from something. Um, and you have not yet truly walked into something new. And it's about taking this time that while you're in between love relationships to really kind of work on yourself and with the, the Eight of Cups, it's about, you know, your spiritual growth. So there's a message here that you may be um, actually going through, um, you know, a lot of spiritual ascensions. So you may be getting a lot of downloads. You may be having a lot of transformational things going on right now. And that it's about embracing the path that you're on right now because you are... Uh, actually transforming at this time into something that is higher. And this is a message that once you kind of get to that next stage, if you will, or that next part of your path, then you'll be at the point where somebody new comes in. It's about embracing what you're doing right now. And it doesn't mean that you can't go out or, you know, enjoy uh, dating or something. But it's this energy of, not to worry if the people that you may be going out with are not like really in alignment with you because your angels are protecting you right now. You're really not going to have that new love coming onto your path at this time. It doesn't mean that they're not coming soon. It's like, but not at this time. And it's because they know that you are doing so much transformation. So sometimes, um, you know, I feel like you get that message because uh, your spirit guides, your angels don't want you to get discouraged in love and give up on love. Because right now you're just being protected. You just, um, you're, it's just a matter of they are protecting you because they know that there's something better for you on down the path. But there's some progress that you are making at this time in other areas of your life. Those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally ho, the universe.
Yeah, uh, there's this energy of not to worry. You know, there could be actually somebody in your life that is watching you. <laughs> you know, but they know that you need time. I feel like you're just not ready for new love yet, you know. And this is an energy of it's okay. You're you're still progressing with the eight of cups. You are progressing closer to your nine of cup nine of cups. What you are wishing for, it's just not here yet. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you much love and light, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. Okay, we're moving on to the earth sign. So we'll start with Capricorn. Hello there, Capricorn. How are you? I hope you're having a great weekend. So let's see what we have for you in your love sector this weekend. Rabbit spirit, now is the lucky time. Okay, well, <laughs> for some of you, if you are in a connection and you're looking to, um, you know, have a baby, this is a good time to act on that. Um, I also, yeah, with the five of pentacles, I feel as if a lot of you have been in this energy of missing somebody, right? And there is some luck on the horizon, either in that relationship or in a new relationship. It's as if you are going to, I'm also getting, you're, you're going to see the luck in what you lost, you know, it's a little bit of that energy of the Wheel of Fortune, seeing the blessings in something that left you feeling um, abandoned um, and realizing, oh, I was lucky <laughs> that that um, kind of ended. Yeah, a sense of, you know, you're understanding your worth. Somebody didn't make you, um, didn't see your light. Didn't um, made you feel not worthy of their love. And now it's kind of like, no, you're hitting the jackpot in love. There's a jackpot ahead. <laughs> really interesting. Okay, so let's see what we have here. You have what it takes. Yeah, I love this. Always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must lead it back into love. The universe. P.S. Did you ever know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? Yeah, I feel like this is your lucky time. You're starting to understand that there is love out there for you. Um, you know, after, a, a, and I say this Capricorn because of doing your readings for, you know, some time now. Um, that you have worked on building your self-confidence in yourself, your self-esteem, your self-worth. And now you're kind of like, yeah. Okay, I'm ready to step into that energy of wanting to love again and knowing that you have what it takes to be, you know, uh, to be in a loving relationship. Whereas I feel like a, a relationship from the past put you into the energy of not sure, you know, am I worthy of love? Am I lovable? Can I attract love? Now you're understanding. Yes, I can. Okay, so um, Capricorn, I wish you much love and light in that situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. Okay, moving on, we have Taurus. So Taurus, let's see what we have for you this weekend. Be spirit. Sweet results await. Taurus, lovely, lovely energy. Lovely energy. You know, I feel like you, you've you been working. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is like giving me goosebumps. I really feel like you, you if you've been working on a relationship, you're in a, like a relationship and you're working on it, it's going to go to the next level. But for a lot of you, I feel as if you have been working on yourself, right? Um, and the sweet results of all of that work is suddenly almost like shining brightly. It's like you're stepping into this energy of shining your light, of knowing your worth and putting yourself out there and knowing knowing that you are um, attracting in a true soulmate connection. Somebody that really recognizes your son um, and wants to, you know, embrace everything that it is that you are about. 
really lovely energy really lovely okay so most people are just trying to survive yeah just remember most people are so beguiled by your charm awed by your confidence and inspired by your choices they simply forget to say thank you please and i love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge let's not be one of those people yeah thank you please i love you like crazy the universe yeah i feel as if you know you you are really shining your light you're really putting yourself out there taurus after a time of not being sure that you can that you want to be in a love relationship or perhaps feeling as if love is difficult right you've worked through all of that you've put all of that work in and i know that from doing your readings right and now you're stepping into this energy of really shining your light of really embracing who you are and putting it out there no no excuses <laughs> you know just like yeah this is who i am and recognizing that sometimes people are just almost i don't want to say intimidated but they look at you and they're like oh my gosh look at tara shining so brightly but you have somebody coming onto your path that sees that brightness and wants to be a part of it that embraces your light along with their light it's really lovely energy here all right taurus really lovely well um i hope you enjoyed that and um much love and light to you i hope to see you again really soon bye for now okay and virgo okay virgo let's see what we have for you today Virgo, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. You know, it's that energy of realizing that everything has ha that has happened in your romantic love life or even in all of your relationships happened for a reason and none of it was wasted time. Yeah, and now you're you're waiting. 3 of wands. You may feel like, you know, um, some of you may feel like you've been waiting for so long. It's never going to happen. But here's the, the message. This time that you've been waiting, waiting for the right one, not just going into a relationship because you just want a relationship, right? It's waiting for the one that is worthy of your love. Um, and you may feel like, well, I've got to, I've got to fall in love soon. Uh, you know, life is passing me by, you know, I'm, I'm getting older. What's happening here? But there's a true energy here of realizing that waiting for the one that's worthy of your love is not wasted time, right? I mean, if you fall in love with somebody that's really not worthy of you or doesn't see your worth, that's time wasted. So it's this energy of you've learned that lesson and now it's waiting a little bit longer. I have a feeling some of you may have somebody coming onto your path, you know, that you may consider, you know, um, you may consider, but it's about really taking a good look at that person, making sure, you know, just just take a moment to think about it. Is this person worthy of my love? It could be that they are, but if they're not, it's like, don't, don't spend too much time there. Get back into the energy of waiting for the per, the, um, perf, for the person that is right for you. Okay. Time for a love fest. Actually, everyone is reasonable. They just have their own reasons. And usually it's worth trying to learn what they are to maximize changes of a full-blown 60-style psychedelic love fest, love fest, which is always a good thing. You know, uh, you know, stepping into that energy of looking at situations and seeing, is there a love fest here or... I'm really, I'm getting the message of, or is it, I just want to be in love? Is there a love fest? <laughs> if there's a love fest, it's time for the love fest. And if there's not a love fest, then it's about, okay, not yet, right? And being okay with that. 
really interesting energy here. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Well, happy weekend. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope um, that you have lots of love in your life this weekend. And I wish you much love and light. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.